and you can see that piston go up and down and be pretty, pretty precise about it. Everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We're in a 2011 Ford Escape with the four-cylinder engine, and it has a misfire. Again, auction car, and they already put coils and plugs on it, and they're about to put a computer on it. The guy's like, well, I'm not sure it needs a computer. Can you check it? Of course. First thing, you know, scan for codes. I already unplugged the coil so that ignore the circuit code. The, the coil's fine, but it detects a P0301 misfire detected in cylinder one. And the quickest thing to do right off the bat is pedal to the floor and crank it. It's running on three cylinders right now. You heard the crank. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Low compression. Um, we can do. Ford actually has some pretty neat tests in the special functions. There is a power balance test and a relative compression test. This is pretty neat. I've only done it once before. But you crank the engine for 10 seconds and it basically says, You know, once all the conditions are met, crank the engine for 10 seconds. Right there, it says cylinder number one, 17% low fault, and the other three are normal. That's a pretty cool test. And then obviously we can do a power balance test. That's like uh, misfires on Fords. Fire it up. And then it shows you a little live graph. You see cylinder number one is dead. Now we plug the ignition coil back in. There's no contribution. So we're worried about compression on that cylinder. I want to take the plug out and use a cool new toy, the Teslong NTS 500. It's an endoscope with a double camera. It's got the forward facing camera and it's got the side facing camera. So you just push this button um, right here on the actual camera and it switches to this guy right here. So let's put that down in the cylinder and see if we see anything interesting. All right, I'll zoom you guys in on the, uh, the camera here. Let's see if we can make this happen. So going down into the spark plug hole, Man, that is so cool. We can see there's a piston. Don't see any holes around the side. We can bend the tip sideways just a hair. And then go all the way around. Looks pretty good. Switch the camera. Okay, now we're looking at valves. Exhaust valves and intake valves. Well, there's one that's open. So which ones are open? Those must be the intakes. They look nice and clean. What about the exhaust? That guy versus its neighbor, that one. 
we see a difference. That is so neat. Um, don't they look a little bit different? This one's like has less deposits on it. Let's try to look at the seat. Is there a gap? Right there, see that white stripe? Around there? And it looks like it's probably a burned valve. Compare to the other one, there's no white stripe around here. Now if we spin the engine over a, a tad, we would probably see I want to look at the seats, the valve seats. So if the exhaust valve isn't making good contact with the seat, the heat uh, transfer from the valve to the cylinder head through the seat is worse and you can get burned valves. That's why the valve is actually burnt. So I assume this guy right here is burned you can almost see that it's not really overlapping the seat all the what all the way that is so neat so let me crank the engine over and see if we can get this valve to stick open look at that valve seat so I'm really impressed with the uh, this um, endoscope we can see apples to apples here here's a good exhaust valve nice step here as you know the height here's the seat again pretty clean on the head good ceiling surface the bad one it's all messed up it's all rounded and the surface of the valve so you can actually unpause the picture and move it you can see it's all gunky and pitted and messed up there's no clean ceiling surface so that is a pretty neat way to determine what your problem is. Just visual inspection, but using, using the endoscope. So that's a diagnosis. Needs, needs a valve job, or at least a new valve, and lap it into the head there. And that's it. So, you guys interested? It is the NTS 500 by Teslong. I'm going to keep using this tool and put it through its paces but so far it's uh, it's pretty neat especially the dual camera with the up and down view and the side view and to get the exhaust valves open we just manually jump the starter relay and you can see that piston go up and down and be pretty, pretty precise about it and then go back here and look which valves are closed or open Alright, thanks all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.